Today on Toy Shiz, the Frankie Ray Nova unlocked mere seconds before the start of the Marvel Legends panel. What a coincidence. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Ryan, Dwight, and Dan, I feel like they live in my house somehow. I see them every two seconds on all forms of social media, but they are definitely keeping Marvel Legends peeps in the know. They got a lot of news to talk about today, so we'll jump right into it. To start it off with the Eternals. I've seen the comments about the Eternals. I'll tell you this, after that new trailer, I am excited to see the movie. The figures will wait to see how the movie goes. But in case you were wondering, Target will get an exclusive Thena figure. This is played by actress Angelina Jolie. And then Salma Hayek will play Ajax, and she will be a Walmart exclusive. So these will go up for pre-order at a later date. These will be available later in the fall as well and then they went on to talk about crow he looks he looks cool i mean just if you didn't tell me anything you'd be like here's this figure it's a cool enough looking figure again i'll have to see the movie to be honest with you it's just one of those where i'm phase four is kind of like oh okay we'll see what happens but another phase four spider-man trailer dropped this past week no way home we got a good look at well, I think it's a lot of red herrings and things like that. We'll see how the actual movie goes, which I do prefer. Don't tell us everything right in the get-go. But No Way Home will feature their own Marvel Legends wave. So we have the hero suit slash integrated suit. It's kind of like a take on the Iron Spider suit. Again, this is all we don't really know. The Marvel Legends team says they don't really know. So wait till you see the movie to really get the full grasp on all of this. This is just how the figures are going to look and then you got the aptly named black and gold suit you're getting j jonah jameson <laughs> which ryan took the words out of my mouth i immediately thought farmer's insurance so there you go and then dr strange they actually went back a little bit they gave him more authentic details on the suit so he now has these two energy spell magic effects instead of it being like a clip-on thing that he holds in his hand they actually clip onto his fingertips so that's cool and then unfortunately womp womp so for the new figures <laughs> i was really really hoping this was gonna be morbius but like you immediately showed me right after i posted that you're like oh this is probably gonna be moreland to which i was like dang it yes it's probably going to be moreland and in fact it is Morlin. So for all you Spider-Man, Spider-Universe, Into the Spider-Verse, comic book version, all that kind of stuff, Morlin, King of the Spider Vampires, or whatever this guy's about, he ate Spider-Man's eye. So hopefully he comes with that accessory. He doesn't. But uh, it, I mean, cool for those that like Morlin. He looks cool. It is what it is. It's not Morbius. So I'm going to take the rest of the day off. Video is over. Just kidding. This is one I am super, super stoked about. Been wanting for so long. We're getting a 90s comic book Shriek figure from Maximum Carnage. Or at least that's just how I knows her. So we're one step closer. We still need Carrion. And then we need Nightwatch. And uh, what is it? Uh, the Firestar in her 90s gear. But again, Shriek looks great. I would have, I mean, honestly loved an alternate head portrait where she's screaming doing the whole powers thing would have been nice but they did mention it's kind of a new female body they're going to be using this one going forward so she does look good and then we got a good look at the upcoming gamer verse miles morales figure that will be a part of the wave to kind of coincide with the gamestop exclusive that's coming as well this is him in his whole video game attire he looks pretty good and the unmasked version looks great as well now you're probably wondering okay so what's the build a figure gonna be dr octopus right from no way home no it's the armadillo of course <laughs> This is one where I actually was like, sweet. Like, that's like a deep dive into some old villains action. So you get this big, massive, chunky armadillo figure. He looks great. Now we need the gibbon. We need <laughs> we need the kangaroo. We get into the spots. We need all those, like, really D-list, F-list villains to go. But uh, armadillo looks fantastic. So if you need any of these figures, all of these figures, they will go up for pre-order tomorrow in and around 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, and I'll have all the links in the description below. So depending on when you see this video, is uh, yeah, they'll hopefully be up and ready to go for you. Not everything in this video will be available for pre-order starting tomorrow, but this wave definitely is. 
And just to kind of coincide with this particular wave, Walmart will have an exclusive Spider-Man with an unmasked Peter Parker head. It's kind of a bummer that they package him with the unmasked head. I don't know. Like, I get it. You're supposed to be like, hey, look at Tom Holland, yada, yada. But you put the Spider-Man mask on him. The extra head is the extra head in that. But this is the upgraded suit. Again, nothing for pre-order just yet. It will be available later in the fall. Then they... Briefly went over the Avengers Endgame cosplay sort of helmet deal that they got coming for the Iron Spider. Lights up. Part of the Infinity Saga. If this is your thing, again, this will be up for pre-order as well. Moving into Hasbro Pulse. So they got a couple more army builders for you. For all those people out there that love doing that. First up is a two-pack for the Shield Agents. This is pretty cool. So they're kind of saying, okay, we're going to do a double pack this time but we're gonna give you a ton of accessories to really build them out. So you got two masks, one of them's got a red visor, one of them's got a silver visor, and then you get three unmasked heads. So that's kind of cool, I'm glad they did that. Hands galore, weapons galore. So again, if you are an army builder, right up your alley. And then they're going to be doing the Skrull Infiltrator. So he will be a single figure. He will actually come with two head portraits and two newly sculpted guns as well. So that is rad. No pre-order information just yet. Just know that they are coming hopefully to Hasbro Pulse by the end of 2021 in that capacity. So probably more around Hasbro Pulse Con is when you'll find out more about these, much like this exclusive. So again, not gonna go up for pre-order just yet, but if you're a fan of Excalibur, then you'll probably dig this three pack. Now, yesterday you probably saw on It's Dan Who's YouTube channel, he revealed the brand new Captain Britain. That's some good integrated marketing right there. That's perfect right there, right? And he did a great job, so we got to see him. And then, so part of this multi-pack that's going to be coming out for Excalibur will include Megan, she's got her little pointy ears, she's got her bare feet, she's got a big old mess of hair right there, so that's pretty cool. And then you're going to be getting Shadow Cat in her blue attire, mass attire, and she will come with Lockheed the Dragon, same one, clip on her hand, all that jazz. So here's the pack in and of itself, again, utilizing the whole trading card aspect of it, nice blue box, you got all the different elements of the old fashioned 90s next men trading cards to it. So that's pretty cool to see on the back side. Again, this will go up for pre-order by the end of the year in and around Hasbro PulseCon. And then finally, to kind of go over Galactus. So Galactus is officially funded. We're going to be getting them. If you put money up for it, you'll get your Galactus. Also, again, mere seconds before this panel started, Frankie Ray unlocked at the 16,000 mark. So that's awesome. So congrats to all of us backers out there. We're getting a Galactus and we're getting a Frankie Ray. Then they finally revealed, I don't know why they're just not revealing everything in one go. There's only like four days left, but hey, you know, there's a 17,000 backer unlock of the Silver Surfer. He comes with a surfboard, comes with extra hands, comes with power cosmic effects. And he comes with this cool stand, you clip it on the board, and you can also clip it onto the hand of Galactus. I will say this though, for this type of project, I really expected Silver Surfer to at least have a solid chrome finish, or at the very least, some magnetic attachments in that sense, like the old fashioned one. It's just another Silver Surfer, to be honest. So I can't really get that excited about it. Yes, I'm sure he will unlock at the 17,000 mark, but it's... It's just kind of like, all right, I got, I got that original Marvel Legends with the magnetic feet. That's my favorite Silver Surfer, and that's what's going to go on my Galactus when he arrives. So in that sense, 17,000 backers awaits. Let's see if he unlocks. He probably will, and we'll see. Hopefully, there's maybe one or two more after that. We'll have to wait and see. Finally, Ryan did his final tease, showed off a couple different Marvel Legends stands, including this brand new, all blacked out, can't really read it, but it says Marvel Legends, in the old fashioned Toy Biz font, right? So, kind of left us with that, maybe something's coming, said more information in and around Hasbro PulseCon. You can leave your comments and think about it, what could possibly be, could be Morbius? <laughs> I'm not letting that one go. Anyways, Thanks again to Ryan, Dwight, Dan, taking us all through those Marvel Legends figures. And congrats to you guys for finally getting Galactus a going. And congrats to us backers for unlocking him 
and putting up the money and getting Frankie Ray and hopefully we'll get Silva Surfer and whatever else they want to throw at us. But I am curious to know what you guys think about all these new reveals. What are you grabbing? What aren't you grabbing? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I'm really hoping there's something in the final tier. It's either a Celestial Head or a Jack Kirby Head. Jack Kirby, like, done up as Galactus. Or just a Jack Kirby figure. Something Jack Kirby with the Jack Kirby designed Galactus would be A-OK. -okay. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. It's I'm still mad it's not Morbius.